this wonderful atmospheric place, Kielda Observatory, and we're very, very excited to be here. The Sky at Night team all here today uh, filming our next episode. Of course, the Sky at Night established almost 56 years ago by the great godfather of astronomy, Sir Patrick Moore, <laughs> of course, <laughs> capturing the fascination of astronomy beautifully like that. In 1957, the Sky at Night began. They asked me to present the show. Well, I'll do the best I can. <laughs> Wouldn't you are my lucky star from Singing in the Rain make a very splendid theme tune? No! <laughs> Don't suggest such fluff again. We need some stark Scandinavian introspection performed in a minor key at the Castle Gate by Sibelius. That's the perfect theme tune for me. <laughs> so, as the sky at night got underway, the space race started too. We achieved the show's objectives, delivering all events to you. We saw the far side of the moon. Could our consciousness absorb it? And Sputnik launched on October the 4th into elliptical low Earth orbit. <laughs> the astronauts and cosmonauts in competition, rivalry, fury. But the cosmonauts were in space first. Well done, Gagarin, Yuri. <laughs> the Americans must now answer this. What possibly can they do? Apollo, our greatest achievement from every point of view, to stand upon another world, enthralling every nation. Earthrise, so profound to see, over magnificent desolation. Armstrong, Aldrin, Cernan, they dominated all the news. And what thoroughly splendid fellows. They gave me very fine interviews. <laughs> so, past the 1970s frontier now, and the Viking probe is probial. Is there life on neighbouring Mars? Quite possibly, perhaps the microbial. <laughs> <laughs> and Voyager powers to Jupiter, and Saturn's rings divine, and the resplendent blue of Neptune, summer 1989. We saw the pillars of creation. Awesome, iconic, astronomical. Once Hubble, rather like myself, was fitted with a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> and Huygens lands on Saturnian moon, surpassing all parameters, as professional astronomers view Titan through the telescopes of the amateurs. Eerie overcast eclipses, shuttle missions, and space stations lead us quite majestically to our 50th year celebrations. And at our 700th programme, well, we're quite the institution. The Astronomer Royal tells our Brian May he resembles Isaac Newton. <laughs> <laughs> at our 55th anniversary, another birthday flag unfurled. With thanks, with pride, with gratitude. We're the longest running show in the world. Good night. <laughs>